guys, welcome. My name is Kelly with 1922 Project and today we are going to set up my brand new projector. What do projectors have to do with sewing? We are going to get to that, but first we're gonna do show and tell. And I have a very quick show and tell, but if you're not into that, I do have the timestamps down below. You can fast forward. In my last video, I made a um, little coaster mug rug thing and I have a very cute story. My husband brought me my tea that night because that is what he does. And um, when he set it down, he got super excited about my coaster and he asked where his was and was like, do you really want one? And he was like, yes, I want one. So I made him one. This is the same designs by Juju that um, I bought for the placemat. And then I've been taking kind of squares from that. I'm making the placemats, but then the smaller squares I've been using for coasters too. So um, mine is the cute little owl, but for him, I chose the spider and pumpkins because that seemed more manly, right? Than the owl with the jaunty hat. So um, anyway, I haven't even given it to him yet. I'm gonna go take it downstairs now. Um, this one was much quicker than the one I did the video on because as you can see, there's no applique and um, it's just quick stitching. So this took less than 10 minutes, um, but definitely go and watch that video if you um, are interested in making these. They're Again, they're fun. They make us happy. We both drink a lot. He drinks a lot of tea. Um, I drink coffee and tea, so he said he needed one, so I made one. But that's all the show and tell I have for today. We'll have to have more stuff for next time. But let's get to the uh, projector. So what do projectors have to do with sewing? Well, besides the fact that I watch TV all day <laughs> when I'm sewing, that's not what we're talking about here. Um, projectors are used... Uh, a lot, uh, mostly for, you know, well, all, all for sewing. Um, if you're just an embroiderer, this um, video might not be for you, but if you're interested in getting into sewing or you, or you are a sewer, um, the projector designers, pattern designers have recently started adding in um, as a part of their pattern, these projector files. Um, and what you can do is you can hang your projector on the wall if your wall is high enough or on the ceiling and it shoots down the image of the pattern. And then with, if you've got your fabric on your table, you just cut it out. You don't have to have the pattern, the paper pattern. So you don't have to print the pattern. You don't have to tape together the pattern. You do not have to cut the pattern. So if you're doing a lot of the same thing, like I'm about to do with some Christmas dresses, I think I have six or seven and they're all different sizes. So rather than cutting out six or seven patterns, I'm just gonna project it down in theory. I haven't set it up yet. I'm gonna project it down and then just cut directly onto the fabric. Uh, I, I don't remember how I learned about this, but I've been in a Facebook group for a while. I think it's called projectors for sewing, tons of good information there. So if you are interested in buying one, um, please check that out because again, I'm no expert and I've only got the one and that's the one I'm setting up. So if you have something different, you're gonna have totally different information. Um, what I do know, let me grab my new one. Um, what I do know is that there's a couple of different kinds. Um, so there is just a regular mini, which is what I got. Um, and, uh, that needs to be up high. You can get something called a short throw or an ultra short throw. I'm not sure if those are different or the same, but, um, those can kind of sit on your table. They don't have to be as high. Um, I, those were intriguing to me at first first, but my understanding is, first of all, I don't really have the table space for it. Um, and it's also my understanding that those um, have to be recalibrated. We're going to have to calibrate this. I don't know how one does that. We're going to learn. Um, they have to be recalibrated often and move, especially if you move them. And I, ain't nobody got time for that. Um, also, they're more expensive. 
so I didn't, I don't particularly want some, I don't want this hung on my ceiling or my wall, but nobody comes in here but me and um, it's going to be so useful that it's worth it. I am hoping to do mine from my wall instead of my ceiling, but I don't know that for sure yet. So here's what I know thus far about the one I bought. I bought this one on Amazon. It's called Viv, Viv Image, Viv Image, Vivian Image. Um, it is the Explore 2 and it will be linked down below as well as um, I bought a uh, holder for it. Let me show you guys that. Um, a mount. That's the word I was looking for, a mount. Um, I'm actually at this point not sure. I So this is all going to make sense as we go through it, but I'm hoping to hang mine from my wall, which means that this is going to have to go like this. I'm not sure if this is long enough yet. We're going to figure it out, but it was like 10 bucks. Um, and then uh, I bought this one. It seems to be a really popular one. People really like it. Um, and it was, the price was not terrible. I don't know what price they are right now, but when I bought it, there was like a coupon and I got half off. And I think that coupon's kind of always there. Why they don't just change the price? I don't know. Um, so anyway, so I haven't even opened it yet. We will open it together. I do know that based on whichever one you buy, you have to be mindful of your ceiling height to your table. So, you know, I mean, you guys know how projectors work. The further away you are, the bigger the thing gets, and you know. Um, so if you're too close, you can't get your image big enough. Now that's, again, different with a short throw, ultra short throw, that kind of thing. This is just a normal mini projector. So I measured to my table over here and it does seem like it's gonna work fine. We're going to kind of go through that and see. You guys can, you know, watch me troubleshoot all of this. Um, I think it's going to be lengthy. I don't even know. I mean, this video might be taped over a few, taped. Is that, do we say that anymore? <laughs> It'll be taped um, over uh, the next few days, probably, uh, is my guess. But I'll let you know because then at the end I want to show you, you know, how it works and how we cut things. So um, I guess depending on how many issues we run into. Uh, but the first thing that we're going to do is take a look at what's in the box and um, what we need to start with. I think probably I'm just going to plug it in and see what it looks like on the wall before I do anything. Um, but again, much of what I'm saying is probably going to be different depending on the one that you get. I would say wait till you get to the end of the video to see if this particular one is going to work best for you. Um, there are tons and tons of options though um, and tons of options for mounting it as well. I highly recommend that Facebook group. Uh, people are super helpful and you can get tons of ideas. So let's take a look at what's in the box. Okay, so here's the box, and I did hear some people say that you want to open your box right away because sometimes there's things missing. I didn't, but um, hopefully it's all in here. Um, so there is the projector. It's smaller than I thought. It, they kind of look pretty big on uh, in pictures, but it is pretty tiny. Um, and then looks like we have um, a power cord and uh, that might go to the TV. It looks like this one goes to the computer. So <clears throat> I have gotten different reports. I don't know if this has Wi-Fi capability or if I have to hardwire it to my computer. So that is something that I'm going to have to read up on. Um, looks like you get a little something to clean with, little lens cap, and a remote, which is handy because it is going to be on the ceiling or on the wall. And then this is um, the tripod if um, you weren't mounting it. I wonder if I can somehow utilize that for my phone because my tripod is terrible. 
Anyway, so I, I'm pretty sure we got everything. I mean, having this and the power cord and the remote and what hooks it to the computer should be all we need. So let's go plug it in and see what happens. Okay, so I've got it plugged in and I've got it um, hooked up to an extension cord. It is, you can hear it running. Um, it, I've got it going on my ceiling just to make sure it works. And ideally, I'm going to mount it right here on the wall. Um, I'm okay with putting it on my ceiling if I can't, but I'm going to try there first. So uh, let me take you over to the computer real quick. I want to show you something. Okay, so uh, I mentioned it in the intro, but if you're not in this group and you want to set up a uh, projector, I highly recommend it. It's called Projectors for Sewing. It's on Facebook and there's um, a lot of really helpful people. And then also there's all kinds of guides, things to help you out. Um, so this, I'm just basically going through all of this to set mine up. So I'm going to try to do mine wirelessly because we are now on the other side of the room from where we were before. I do have a laptop that I could hook it up to if I need to. Some of this information says that wireless is a little glitchy, but I'm going to try it first. And then if that doesn't work, then that's fine. So all of that information is here, but real quick, if you have a Mac, you'll need to, I don't know what to do for a Windows machine. You'll have to look at, you'll have to read something like this, but for a Mac, you need to go into system preferences. Um, and this wasn't, necessarily clear on on this guide so I wanted to show you real quick if you go here um and now I'm gonna have to think about it a minute I think you have to go into it no not displays hang on uh where did I go I just did it oh uh sharing is there something called share sharing right here so go into sharing and you have to make sure that screen sharing is on and either all users or yourself or whatever. So make sure that that is clicked. If you want to do, uh, I think even if you don't wanna do wireless, I'm not sure, but for wireless that has to be clicked. And then when you turn on, uh, you have to set the, mach the projector up to your uh, internet and the instructions on your projector will tell you how to do that. And then when the projector is on, you go up, mine's not on right now, but you can airplay to the projector. So let's, let's, let me show you that real quick. Um, it's going to be tricky to, <laughs> it's going to be tricky, but we're going to work this out. Let me see. Um, what if I just turned it on real quick? Hang on. Uh, I'm just going, again, it's on the other side of the room, which is why I want it to, um, be wireless. They do include an HDMI cable. I don't even know that that's uh, long enough to get to my laptop. So from the ceiling or the the top there. Um, so it is still there. We're on now. So so it's looking for it. See, looking for Apple TV. It just means the device. I did try this a minute ago, and I it is pretty slow. So. We'll see how it actually works, um, but I wanted to give it a shot. Again, it's just, so it's very slow connecting to it. Like if you had a TV on right now, this would just pop up. Okay, I realized that I forgot a step. So again, I'm just projected on the ceiling here. You do get a um, remote with it. So you have to go over to iOS cast first. So let me see if I can get there. It's a little hard to tell. So we're gonna go to iOS cast. That screen shows up and it's wanting you, excuse my ceiling fan, it's wanting you to connect to a phone, but you can do it on your computer too. Um, so again, go up to this little TV here. And there it is, ZY cast. So that screen goes dark for a minute. So see how it made my screen look funky? Then let's go back over here. Ta-da, it's projecting my screen. 
on my computer. So if I had a PDF file up, that would be up there. So now what we have to work out is you have to make sure that the distance from where you hang it down to your mat is good enough that you can make these squares big enough. So if I can't get a one inch square hanging it on the, ce on the uh, wall, I'll have to go up to the ceiling. And then the, the last resort would be, okay, maybe I've got to cut on my floor. So, but we're gonna try this first. I'm gonna have to get a ladder and I'm just gonna hold it to see if we're, if I hold it right here, will it project down and give me the right size? So I went and got a step ladder and my drill so that I can hang my um, holder thing here. So I got this on uh, Amazon as well and I'll put a link to that down below. It, I think it's gonna be okay. People seem to buy it um, and use it a lot. So we're gonna give it a shot. It was like $9. So I'm gonna give it a shot and it'll either work or it won't. And then um, if it doesn't work, I might just fashion something myself. Um, but basically it screws into here. And then I'm going to hang it on my wall and the, um, projector will hang down and shoot directly onto my mat. So I wanted to show you guys real quick because it was kind of confusing to me at first. So the bag comes with all of these parts. You need this little guy and you screw him in to the end here. And then that screws on to your projector. So again, so it'll be like this, and then I'll hang it on the wall like that. So the only thing I need to check, I went and got my step ladder. Um, I think it's going to be high enough on my wall. I don't think I'm going to have to do the ceiling. You do want to measure with this particular machine. I'm pretty sure it's 62 inches you need to have between the lens and your mat, and I think I'm just, I'm gonna get there, so that's good. Um, the only concern I have is it needs to come out from the wall far enough to hit the center of my mat. So I'm not quite sure it's going to, but I'm gonna get up there on a ladder and um, see if that works. Not gonna film that part. You don't need to see me on a ladder. All right, believe it or not, I think this is gonna work. So I got it hung. I hit my head on the ceiling fan more times than I care to admit, but it's up there. It is projecting down. Um, it's probably too bright in here for you guys to see. Um, but on that Facebook group, let me go turn the lights off. On that Facebook group, that projectors for sewing, um, they have a grid and I'll show you. Let me turn the lights off first. Eh, that helped a little bit. Um, they have a grid that you, I hope I'm not making you sick with all this, that you can download and put it on Adobe Reader. And then you want to match this up with uh, what's on your mat. And you have to, um, oh, you know what? I'm not full screen. Hang on. You have to adjust your uh, zoom a little bit. So here I am on full screen. This is what you want projecting down. And then if it's not perfect, you come up here and you start adjusting your zoom until you get it to where you need it to be. So I'm at 28%. Let me go full screen and let's go over there and see what that looks like. Okay. So obviously you can move your mat around a little bit too. Um, you're just trying to check the size, not necessarily, you know, how it's all lined up that way. So I actually, I'm looking pretty good. Um, see how I'm a little off here. I need to do a little more research. Oh, you know what? Okay, I'm way off over here. See how crooked that line goes? So that's not good. We need to figure out what's going on there. The only thing that I can think is... Um, it's not great that I tilted my projector 
so you know it hangs like this I tilted it a little bit this way to be able to hit the mat so I'm gonna go up there and I'm gonna adjust it a little bit more and see if maybe I can get it to where it's not so distorted down here uh, maybe I can tilt it a little bit more this way uh, and still have it land on the mat all right, so not a total fail yet, but not working exactly how I need it to. I got up there and I adjusted everything to make sure that my lines going this way were straight. And you can see they are, I'm still not really worried about making sure my one inch square is perfect. My lines are good. But as you can see, I'm butted all the way, my table is all the way against the wall, and I just don't have much cutting space here. Um, honestly, it may, you know, it could work, potentially, but I'm not going to lose all of this area of cutting, um, or I would lose all of that if I left it as it is. So my solution is going to be that really I need a longer... I need that to come out further, like about three, two to three inches. So I'm going to figure out how to make that happen. I could put um, like a board up or something, like a two by four and hang it and then hang it on there. But uh, I'm gonna have to think about this for a minute. Okay. So this right here is a beautiful, beautiful sight. I know it's a bit hard to see. Um, it is the next day and I ended up doing something totally different. Um, so I will show you that, but this is, you know, you can move, there's what it's projecting down. Um, so like I said, this template is on the, um, that Facebook page. And you want, you know, you want it all to match up on a grid or with a ruler, something. But this is pretty darn close, um, about as close as I'm gonna get. And I totally redid everything. So it's dark in here. I turned the light off so you guys could see that. Actually, let me turn it back on so we can take a look at the whole setup. So, it is totally different than it was before. I, um, you can see where I had that Amazon mount. And I, in my last little clip, I talked about how it wasn't coming out far enough to shine on the center of my table. So, this is my solution. I bought two of these brackets from Walmart. And then all of this is just scrap wood. Um, and as you can see, it brings it so much further out from the wall that now I'm coming straight down onto my table. Uh, the, this particular projector comes with a tripod and where you mount that tripod, I just found a bolt that fit it and bolted it into that piece of wood because I wanted, I didn't want to build a box or anything because I wanted the side vents and all of that to show. And then as you can see, I just screwed it in to these brackets. So it is not beautiful, but nobody comes in this room but me. Not even the cats come in here. Um, I was able to put my cord around my um, curtain there, which was important to me to not have cords hanging down. So I'm really, really happy with it. Um, it's a little, you know, at this angle, it's kind of obnoxious, but when you walk in the room, it's pretty inconspicuous. So now what we have to do is cut a pattern. So I have um, a pattern called Linea. It's from Sinclair Patterns, um, and it was free back in September. I haven't, um, I haven't done it yet. So I have some really nice Millie and Dot fabric I want to use, but I'm going to use this um, fun Halloween stuff as a um, 
sort of hopefully a wearable um, muslin. I, uh, yeah, I love it. And this is old, the old school doodles that I've been hoarding. Um, so I'm gonna project that and um, I'll show you what it looks like on the fabric. So just a quick example of what it looks like. Um, I flipped my fabric over um, just because it was a little hard to see the lines with the um, bats showing. I do think, sorry, my hand was making it blurry. Um, I do think there's a way to make the lines a little darker. So I'm gonna look into that. Uh, this is the front panel piece and it is cut on the fold. I've read that people have complained about cutting on the folds using a projector. Um, I'm probably just gonna give it a go and see. I get, I can see what they're saying, like the, you know, if you push that down, then now your line is not really on the fold. Um, maybe I'll try to put some, I don't know, pattern weights on it and see if that helps, but Basically, this is the result. You put your fabric down here, you get your rotary cutter, and you cut out your pattern pieces. I am extremely excited. I am going to go cut this out and see how it goes. I'm now the proud owner of the cutest shirt ever. I love this. Let me stand up and show you the rest of it. It's wrinkly. Um, I also have my neon pants on that I made. So this shirt is the um, Linea, Linea, I don't know how you say it, from Sinclair. And again, they have the projection pattern. And I know I only videoed a little bit of that, but oh my gosh, it is so quick. I should have timed myself. Um, I'm actually going to make another one of these using the uh, neon fabric. So um, I'll time it, but it was so fast. I didn't have to cut anything. I didn't have to print anything. Um, super fast. And this was a, this was a nice sew too. I think the um, neon one, I'm going to size down a little. Um, I've been on a bit of a weight loss journey, so I want to highlight that a little bit. I like this um, fit; it um, is comfy, but um, I want to I want it to fit a little bit fitted on the other one. Also, on the other one, I will scoop this out just a little bit. It's not terrible. Um, I am just hyper sensitive to things up around my neck because this is thin it's okay, but the neon is a little bit of a thicker French terry, so I'm definitely going to have to scoop it out just a little bit um, to fit better for me, but that's not necessarily something that you'd have to do. But how cute is all of this color blocking? And so anyway, I know this, this whole video, it was over a few days. Now is a different day than yesterday when I cut this out, um, but it was just yesterday. I mean, it didn't take me that long. Um, just even so, and I love this, I'm, I'm 5'10 ish. So rarely do I get shirts, you know, that I can do this with. This is the tall Sinclair patterns come in like petite, regular, I almost said normal, <laughs> petite, regular, and tall. Um, and this is the tall. And, uh, anyway, I know this whole, uh, video was a little disjointed cause I did it over several days. And I wasn't really sure what I was doing with the projector. The projector is amazing. I cannot recommend it more. I will link it down below. I'm not going to link the um, mount. I would find something better. There is something called, um, oh, I'm not going to think of it, niche, something, something niche that um, is actually a um, holder for these and people really seem to like those and they seem much sturdier. So check those out. And again, all of this 
is in that projectors for sewing um, Facebook group. So there you have it. Two thumbs up for the projector. Try it out. If you have any questions, ask me down below. I will try to answer or try to find the answer. If you found any value in this disjointed video at all, please hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing. If you'll excuse me, I have to go take this off because it is Texas and it's still too stinking hot. Bye guys. Have a good one.